and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov, and this guy makes his way to the Octagon DC. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here tonight. The moment he walked in the AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn and how to improve himself. And the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson, and now it's showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC, and he has only built on that to become a champion, one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, <laughs> it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all, it was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proven ground here tonight again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of Ten wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Surreal Bangamagan. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Imagomedov! All right, nothing to lose in the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up or are you just expecting them to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. Yeah. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submission. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he... Nurmago Medov's going for an arm here. Oh! Oh, 
Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Abim Abimogliano! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale. Get Thank you for watching. Tonight, Please wait for win. more videos. See you soon. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how to fight.